Hi everyone, my name is Ryan Bradley and I'm a product manager for Okta working on identity governance. Today, I'm going to show you how Okta identity governance can be used to enable seamless access requests to applications from regular chat-based tools like Slack or Microsoft Teams. I've opened up access requests from the Okta dashboard and I've configured a simple access request that gets information from a user such as what department they're in and why they need access. And with approval from their manager, we'll grant them access to Figma. So let's see it in action. My end user, Oliver, is going to go over to Slack and request access as you just using his natural language, as you'd be chatting with a coworker. And he'll fill in a couple more pieces of information here as desired by Okta. And once submitted, this is going to request approvals for from Oliver's manager. Great. So let's go over and see how Oliver's manager, Mabel, is going to respond to this. Now, Mabel has an opportunity to see Oliver's request, see the information that he's provided, and even chat with him directly in Slack. And Oliver will get this update directly in Slack. But let's approve the request anyways. Now that this request has been approved, Okta is going to grant Oliver access to Figma, and we'll see it on his Okta dashboard. So let's go back to Oliver. You can see updates on the request directly in Slack. And when we go to the Okta dashboard and refresh, we can see that Oliver has been granted access to Figma. In this way, you are able to seamlessly offer your end users a quick, enjoyable experience to gain access to any application that they need in Okta. You can gather approvals from, from various members of your organization, whether it's managers, app owners, or anybody else, all directly in the tools that you're using on a daily basis like Slack, so that you're not disrupting your end users and hampering their productivity. Thanks.